All right. Hey, hey, what's up, you guys? I want to make sure that you guys are with me. I'm waiting for somebody to say hello. Tell me who you are, where you're from. Make sure that you guys can hear me. Thank you guys so much for being here. My name is Cheryl Coco, and I am the master trainer for royalty. So, hey, I'm just going to say hello to a couple of people. Hey, Brenda, how are you? Hey, Elaine, how are you? Oh, make sure that you press your, like there's a speaker and it kind of might have an X over it. Make sure that you uh, press that X so that you can hear the sound. Let me know if some people can hear me, okay? Can you guys hear me? Because I see everybody putting their name. All right, talk up. Everybody can hear me? Hey, hey. Stoked to be here, you guys. Yes, <laughs> we hear you. There are people that hear me. Make sure that the volume is turned up for you guys. Make sure that you don't have the little X over your speaker so that you guys can hear and you're not muted. Hear you loud and clear. Thank you so much, Doug. I appreciate that. You guys, awesome. Thank you guys once again so much for being here. Hey, Angel. Hey, Curtis. Hey, Timothy. What's up? Hey, Cassandra. How you guys doing? Thank you guys so much for being here. All right, so the topic for tonight, we're going to kind of get into some training. You know, what's great about royalty is you guys, you know, you guys can have and sign up a lot of people, right? You can get a lot of customers inside of this business. It's great to say, you know what, I got 100 customers. But you know what's even better? You know what's awesome? You know what's a great feeling is those few customers that maybe say purchase 50 or 100 or 200 gems, or 500 gems. Do you guys want that to happen? Let me know, drop a one in the comments if you want that to happen to you. Let me know if you're excited to learn about how I've done it, and I know some other people that have done it as well. I wanna share with you guys some tips, some markets where you can go and sell in 50, or getting people to get 50, customers for 50, customers for 100 is, psh, no big deal. I want you guys to stand back, take the 20,000 square foot view that royalty has to offer you guys and say, wow, you know what? I can do this. I have something fantastic to offer. You guys, tonight is going to be fantastic. If you haven't done so already, make sure that you tag your business partners in this post. Make sure that you get people watching. And hey, if you're watching this on someone's wall and you're interested in joining royalty, make sure that you get back with them. They have the information for you to join. I want you guys to all know that we are proud of you guys. Do you guys know that there have been... <laughs> The amount of orders that have come in in the last few days to close out this month have been incredible. I just want to stop and say I am so proud to be a part of this. I'm so proud of you guys. It's incredible. Okay. It's fantastic. All right. So here's some tips for you guys. You may want to grab a pen and some paper because you want to make sure that you're writing some things down. Okay. I wrote some things down for you guys uh, that you guys should know before you walk into a place. Do you know that a radio ad, a 30 second spot on radio can cost anywhere from 500 to $1,000, right? 500 to $1,000. Postcards, people send out postcards and they'll spend $1,000 for a one-time postcard hit in their neighborhood. It's true. So uh, local TV, You'll spend anywhere from about $500 to $1,500. You guys can look this up for a 30-second spot, okay? And a national TV commercial, you'll spend about $342,000 for 30 seconds. 30 seconds. For the Super Bowl, there are people who have spent about $4.5 million for a 30-second spot in the Super Bowl. Now, why do I bring this up? Why am I telling you guys about this section? And of course, we have some great value in here, right? Let me tell you guys this about that. <laughs> tell you guys this. People want eyeballs and ears on their business. They do. 
They want a platform to show off their business and get people interested in their business. They pay top dollar for eyeballs. Do they know if it's going to convert? Do they know what's going to happen after? No. They leave that to the market or they leave that to the business, but they do want eyeballs and they will pay for it. It's incredible. Okay. So let's talk to you guys about how you can start selling to people for 50, 100, 150, 200, 500 gems. Okay. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. I want to know. Does anybody in the crowd right now, does anybody know anyone who owns a salon, works a salon, or has a salon in their area? Anyone? Anybody know anybody? I'll go away for you guys. I just whisper, people be like, I, I don't know, thousands. <laughs> yes, yes. Anybody own a salon or know anyone that owns a salon or works in a salon? Yes, 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 you do. If you've gone back to my wall, you see me outside of a salon and I'm going to tell you exactly what happened in there and how you can get how that salon went and bought 50 and another at 100. Okay? So let's talk about how you guys can do just that and what you have to offer them. See now. Let's talk about that salon. Most salons are small business owners. They have a small franchise or a couple of salons here and there. And that's great. And they struggle with advertising. Most of them do. Okay? They have people that come in and work for them. Stylists, nail salon people, people that maybe do a massage, whatever it is. Working one part-time. Sheila, awesome. That's awesome. Now, let's talk about what you can offer the owner of that salon. If you walked in and you said to the owner, asked to see the owner, what if I can show you a way to get more eyeballs on your business than ever before for a less amount of money? Would you be interested in that? What if I can show you how to get a volunteer army of employees that will then Go ahead and advertise your business every step of the way. Would you be interested in learning more? I hope so. Of course you would, right? You better be. Because like kinds hang around like kinds. That's why we mirror image ads on Facebook to certain people. Right? We know those who work in a salon, well, they oftentimes hang around people who love to go to salons. Right, Your business owner probably doesn't hang around such a crowd as the people that work there. Right? Incredible. Okay? So now, what do you offer the salon owner? How many of you have one of these or one of these on you right now? How many of you guys have one of these right now? Now, what do you do, right? What if you said to the salon owner, hmm, get me in front of your employees and I'll make you a volunteer army. If you got in front of those employees and said, I can put a 40 character message designed to advertise what you do right on this. And when the person clicks on the link, they'll make an appointment with you. Most of your stylists, well, they just want to get butts in the chair. They need more appointments. They need more hours, right? They want more regulars, more people to come back. They want to be the stylist known around town for what they do. Now, what if I can show you how to put a 40 character message on here that is coded to you? Let's think about some of the things that we could say. Okay. Got roots, 20% off. I mean, think of some of the things that you could say. Uh, I put down, cut your hair here. Diet, 20% off. Um, 
I fix $7 haircuts, whatever you want to put on this gym and put code one. When they go ahead and they click on the link, right? Well, it will go to the salon's page to make an appointment and they'll ask what code it was, right? Now, when they call the person back that makes the appointment, they'll know exactly the person who helped them make the appointment, depending on the code that was coded to that employee who's carrying around that gem, right? Now, when they call in, what happens? That person is now getting another person in their chair. Are they not only advertising for themselves, but they're also advertising for the business? You've now created a volunteer army of employees going around and advertising your business for you. Do you guys see how that works? How many employees are in there and how many of them would want a gem to extend their business? Not only are they extending their business, but they're extending the business of the business owner. Hmm. Where do most people that work in salons hang out? They're probably pretty social. They probably go out a lot. They probably hang around people that like to get their hair cut. They probably know a different crowd than that business owner could ever, ever touch, ever. No matter how many postcards or radio TV commercials or whatever they do, more eyeballs would be here. You will now have happy employees, happy workers, more income, more revenue, advertisement for a lot less of the cost that they're already doing than now. Who could possibly say no to that? And that's just the salon, that's just the people who work in the salon. Could you offer 20% off of revenue, of product inside of the salon? Of course you could. If you had a little sign when you walked into the salon that said, check your Android notifications, would that work? Of course it would. Is this just about salons I saw? No, it's not. What else can it be about? Because I've sold 100 to a cleaning company, and you can too. Why? Because you see this right here? Imagine if you gave it to every single person who cleaned a home. Every time they went out to a house, would they not be advertising for themselves and the business? They sure would. Do they want to get more houses? Do they want to get more places to clean? When you start satisfying the employee, you start putting more money in their pocket, it goes back to the business owner as well. This right here is a win-win situation. How many other places can you think of that can utilize this form of advertisement? How many other places can you turn a employees into a volunteer army of advertisers for you. How many of you can think of all of the places? There are a lot, a lot of places. Start thinking, roll over and write it down. I want you guys to know this. There will be fear behind some of you in doing this. I'm going to ask you to do it afraid. Marry this process. Walk in there with confidence. I can tell you for a fact that you will get more eyeballs than they will in a lot more form of advertising than they are doing now. Small business owners struggle. They struggle a lot with advertising, marketing their business. They boost posts on Facebook. They have pages. They struggle in social media. And here, you can knock it straight out of the park for them and their employees. Happy employees, happy business owners, happy customers, more traffic into their business. 
salons? Yeah, it works. It definitely does. Get them to come up with their own sayings for them, right? Think about it. You get your employees involved and you have excited people to put one of these on their keychain everywhere they go. Cleaning company? Of course, it's going to work. The endless possibilities. Couple hundred dollars a month to get thousands of eyeballs onto your business with like minded people in crowds of people that love salons with a volunteer army of employees. You go in talking about that, the benefits that they can have. Well, it would be crazy to turn that down. Crazy. Now, what other places can you go to? What other markets can you go to? Think about it. We're just talking about small business owners. Do you need the people who are gonna buy three? Sure, three is great. But you could walk out your door right now and be confident in knowing what you have in your hand. Confidence is the name of the game. Walk in there, and all you have to do is say this. Hi, my name's Cheryl Coco, and I'd like to speak with the owner on how they can save thousands of dollars on advertising every year and get more eyeballs on their business than ever before. If your owner is interested in doing that, please let them know that I'm here, or I'd like to make an appointment to speak with them. You'll get that appointment, and you'll talk to the owner. And when you do, you're going to show them exactly how you can do just that, right? You can do that for multiple businesses. Just say that over and over again. And you walk in with confidence, okay? Now, let's talk about something else. Anybody have any questions about that really quick before I move on to the ne next market who will sit there and say, I'm going to need 25 of these. I'm going to need 30. I'm going to need my entire company to have one of these. Who? Anybody? Because that's super simple, right? Have somebody in the office program them. Have somebody have them coded directly to that employee and you'll watch results. Okay? So, super simple. Should you wait? <laughs> I love this one. Should you wait until you get your gems? You don't have to wait for anything. You don't. If you want volume pricing, you can, of course, email me. You can email support or uh, talk to Justin. You guys can email me at Cheryl at royalty.com, C-H-E-R-Y-L at royalty.com. If you guys need help with that volume pricing, okay? So, awesome. All right. Now, I'm going to move on, and I want to talk to you guys about realtors. Okay, does anyone know anybody who sells houses? Anybody know any realtors? Uh, anyone? <laughs> Let me see. Throw one up. Do you know a realtor? Yes, yes, yes. I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to see it. Yes. Come on. You guys, everybody knows somebody who sells a home. Let's talk about how a realtor advertises right now. Okay. Now, how many of you have ever gotten the calendar that... <laughs> How many of you have ever got <laughs> cracking myself up? <laughs> All right. How many of you have ever gotten the calendar that has the place that they work at and their picture? Or, you know, um, uh, that sticky magnet thing that goes on your fridge? How many of you have gotten that? You guys have ever gotten that sticky magnet <laughs> thing or um, the calendar that comes in the door or comes to your door? And what do you guys? <laughs> Stephanie. <laughs> All right. Yep. Okay. Right. Okay. So guys know the people that I'm talking about. They send you the calendar. And then what do you do with the calendar or the sticky magnet that you, they, that you get once a year that like they call it their follow-up method or um, how they keep in touch with you or how they spread the word about their business? How many of you guys have done that? You're like, <laughs> football is good. Yep. You're like, eh. Where does that go? 
It goes right out there in the trash, doesn't it? What if I could show you a way to sell more homes than ever before? Would you be interested in that? Huh? How about that? Well, what if I can make your seller one of your best sellers? If you put one on their key ring, will they become a seller? Sure can. And you could actually change this every time you have a seller for a different home after the home is sold. What if you put one outside on the for sale sign of a house and put a little sign that said, check your Android notifications. You ever, you guys ever go to a house or see a sign that says for sale and you do the slow drive by like, and you check in and you're almost like you have your head out the window, basically trying to look in to see what's going on over there. And if you've ever gone house hunting, you like automatically start getting into your phone and you're like trying to find the address of that house, right? But what if you had a sign out there that said, hey, check your Android notifications, and they did. And by the click of a button, when they went by, they can see the inside of that house, if it's still for sale, how much it costs. Would you actually save time, efficiency, get more people interested? Of course, you definitely would. Now imagine if you had out one outside of all of those houses that you have. It would be great, right? How many houses at a time is a realtor selling? How about an entire realty firm? How many are they selling? Would it be worth having a sales aid for their employees? It would, it most certainly would. And what if you had an open house sign, but you know that those people get lost on the way and you told them for directions, check your Android notifications because right now an open house can only be so far of a distance from that home because they keep on putting them in every street corner with an arrow pointing the way. How many open house signs do they have? But if they had an open house sign somewhere and it said, check your Android notifications for directions, well, you could probably get them to the open house from a further distance, don't you think? They can actually scope that house out and see if they want to come. It would be awesome, right? It would be awesome. Utilizing the sign inside of a store that says, check your Android notifications, putting them on a sign that says, check your Android notifications, putting them on an open house sign that says, check your Android notifications, utilizing a single sign that says, check your Android notifications. Well, you're going to have realtors that sell a lot more houses. You are. You are. You're going to have sellers going around like a volunteer army helping you sell your home. Incredible, right? That's another market that you can go to right now. You could talk to one single realtor. You could talk to a bunch of realtors. You can talk to the head of a realty firm. And you could talk to them how one single sales aid can do a lot more than a calendar or a sticky magnet. And I wonder how much it costs them to have those made and sent out every year. Probably a lot. They probably do it every half a year. Would you save them money? Yeah. You're going to make them money too. You're going to get more eyeballs on their houses as well. All right. I want to talk to you guys about one more market right now so that you guys can sell even more gems. Are you guys having fun? Are you guys happy about what's going on? Are you guys stoked? Do you guys understand taking the 20,000 square foot view and saying, hey, that small business owner is great, right? But think about the amount of businesses that can utilize this on a daily basis, who can create volunteer armies of employees that advertise for them. It's amazing. It's amazing what a little gem can do. We're in business to help keep other businesses in business, right? All right. So. There is so much potential everywhere. Thanks, Caggiano. All right. I'm going to talk to you guys now 
about the restaurant industry. Okay, you have to understand a little bit about marketing in this restaurant industry. You see, inside of that restaurant industry, you have the upsell that works a lot. It works a lot better than driving the traffic in. Okay, only place I've seen that worked driving the traffic in is I have a pizza shop by a boardwalk where he goes and sticks several gems out and drives traffic to his pizza place for less of a slice. And that's okay. That'll work. But inside of a restaurant, utilizing the upsell will work great. Okay. So think about it this way. Could you send your employees home with them? Yes. Could you give them the people that work there? Of course you could. But here's the deal. Inside of a restaurant, 20% off of an appetizer will get you a lot. Okay. If you have a high inventory or something inside of that restaurant and you offer that item for sale and you walk in to check your Android notifications, will that work? Yes. Buy one, get one free. Yes. Renee, I like it. I like it a lot. Yes. Yes. All right. There are so many ways to utilize the gem for small business owners everywhere. They are looking to learn how to advertise your business. No, I talked to a roofer the other day and just the humor inside of his 40 character message was funny. See, he said something like he has the number on his van, he has that whole thing going on, but if he's on the roof and says, I'm the roofer next door, he says, click here. How many of you guys ever had a contractor outside of your house and you just creep them out? You put your head out the window, you wonder what are they doing next door? What's going on? Is that a plumber? Is that an electrician? Why are they at that house? Do I need that too? Siding, yeah. If they had a gem that was, I guess, expanding that message out to you, are you going to click on the link and find out about it? Yeah, right? There are so many businesses that can utilize this. I want you guys to think huge, think big, right? There is an incredible opportunity for you, not only in your neighborhood, but how many salon pages have you been asked to like on Facebook? How many business pages have you been asked to like on Facebook from around the world? How many times have you been added to a Facebook page and been asked to like it from around the world? How many people are looking for volunteers? How many groups? How many places? are looking for volunteers, donations for a shelter. Yeah. Could you save an animal's life if you offered it to an animal shelter? Yeah, they need help marketing. Take a look outside of yourself sometimes and understand that a lot of people need marketing help. Your baker up the street, your small business owner, they're great at what they do. They're talented. They're, they're not talented marketers and they need help getting the word out. Okay. You have right now the ability to help a struggling small business owner. But a lot of you need to get over the fear of it. They need you. You need you right now. Proximity marketing was designed to get eyeballs in front of a business and have that tiny message, have people click on a link and see something that they would have never seen from that business before. What would you do if you weren't afraid? What could you do?
There are people all over the world right now looking for somebody that has something that you have. I want you guys to marry this process. When somebody says no, it's all right. Not everybody is up with revolutionizing the, the marketing industry. They said no to emails and people now have large email campaigns that go out every day. They thought advertising in the newspaper was impersonal. They thought email was impersonal, right? Understand that this business, you, have, you can make it personal. You can capture the lead, make it personal. It's all about marketing. Doing things before everybody else does. Not being afraid. Taking a step out. I like those people. They're great people. I applaud you for being some of the first people to ever offer proximity marketing to the small business owner who needs to get more eyeballs on their business. You're an entrepreneur, you jumped out the plane. Let's all go grab a parachute and fly away. You don't fly if you never spread your wings. I encourage you right now Go grab a business partner, talk to a business partner, make a plan of action, write down names, go do it. Go do it tomorrow, call places, walk in. Do something you would have never done before watching this. I believe in you, you can do it. You absolutely can. We are a corner of the world that not everybody will understand everybody needs. I'm proud to be a part of this. I hope that you guys are too. Let's go change the world. One proximity marketing device at a time. Let's go revolutionize marketing. My name's Cheryl Coco. Thank you guys so much for being here. I am the marketing trainer for, for royalty. I want you guys to know that I do believe in you. I hope that you guys believe in you too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love y'all. Good night. Bye-bye.